Hey everyone, welcome to the Gospel Project for Kids. Today, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to lead a Bible study experience for kiddos. To get started, all you need is a leader guide, an activity pack for each kid, and the media from the Ministry Starter Kit or Digital Bundle. The kids' resources are provided in two age groups, younger kids and older kids. Now, while we do not provide specific definitions of these because every context is unique, we do craft younger kids' content for about first through third grade and older kids' content for about fourth through sixth. Now, if kindergartners are a part of your elementary ministry, the younger kids' material can be used with that age group too. There's also a preteen option for the oldest of your kids who are making the transition into student ministry. Now, you can frame your kids' experience around different formats with each working well. You can choose to form small groups for the entire session or to form both small groups and a large group for different parts of the session. Again, the resource will work with either of these approaches. The choice is based on your context. This resource is made to be flexible and to work with any of these approaches. Simply choose what works best with your context. You can see that flexibility is quite important when it comes to using the Gospel Project for kids. And the best way to get maximum flexibility out of the content is to get to know the various elements in a session and then think of them as tools in, in your ministry tool belt. So choose from these tools to build the best ministry experience for your kids. So with that in mind, let's now walk through a session to see each of the tools that are at your disposal. Designed for the leader, the Prepare Pages features a visual of the session with the suggested times to devote to each part. You'll also find an encouraging leader Bible study. This is one of several ways that we want to help leaders like you teach from the overflow of God working in their lives. Other leader training items can be found at gospelproject.com. A supply list is also provided to help you gather and organize the supplies needed for the activities that you choose to do. Now, let's take a look at what a typical session might look like. First, there's welcome. This is the first part of the session content. During this time, your goal is to do just that. Welcome all of the kids who attend and engage with them as they engage and connect with one another. A suggested conversation starter begins the session. As kids arrive, include them in the discussion and then use the suggested say prompt to help the kids connect with what you just talked about with what follows. Then help the kids complete their activity pages. A suggested say prompt helps leaders connect the learning activity kids complete on that page with that session's Bible story. Afterward, kids can participate in an activity or two, again, with suggested say prompts that explain the bigger purpose of the fun that they just had. Learn is the next part of the session content. During this time, leaders will share the Bible story and help kids understand what it actually means. First, leaders will review the unit's big picture question and answer, which is one of the ways that kids learn important doctrines of the faith. Next, leaders can use either the giant timeline or the small group timeline to help kids see where that day's Bible story fits into the bigger story of scripture that they have been learning. Then, leaders have a few options in sharing the Bible story. They can read the story straight from the leader guide, tell the story in their own words using the storytelling tips provided, show the Bible story video, or just use a combination of these techniques to help reinforce the story for your kiddos. A Bible story teaching picture is also provided for the leaders to use during this time. Afterward, leaders can show kids how that session story points to Jesus with the Christ connection. Now this is one of the most important features of a session. Finally, the missions moment helps kids see what God is doing all around the world. Love is the third part of the session content. Now, during this time, leaders will review the Bible story while giving the kids the opportunity to work on their Bible skills. A group discussion follows, allowing kids to continue processing what they're learning as they're encouraged to grow in their love for God. Live is the last part of the session content. Now, during this time, leaders can choose from more learning activities designed to help kids move toward understanding the joy of obeying God. And the session ends with the time for kids to reflect and pray together. At dismissal, leaders give each kid a big picture card to help them continue to review at home. All right, guys, I hope this shows you just how easy it can be to lead a session 
of the Gospel Project for Kids.